Hi there, and welcome to Google Sheets challenge number 12. In this video, I will be testing your skills working with data visualization in Google Sheets. And by that, I mean charts and graphs. As always, you can download the spreadsheet using the link that I left in the description. And once you have it and you've attempted each question, go through the video, see how I do it, and see how your answers compare. If that sounds like fun to you, well, let's get to it. Okie dokie. For question one, you must create a chart to display the change in monthly revenue over the course of one year. Now, whenever you are trying to depict change over time, as you are in this case, it is usually best to create a line chart. With that in mind, start by selecting the data and then go to insert chart. Google Sheets will try and guess which chart you want. In this case, it guessed correctly. However, if Google Sheets ever gets it wrong, you can always change the chart type by looking in the panel on the right, and under chart type, you can select the chart that you want. That said, you now have a chart showing the change in revenue over the year. The last thing that you might want to do is double click on the title and change it to yearly revenue. Awesome. That completes question one, so let's move on to question two. For question two, your task is to create a chart to compare the sales performance of the four regions. Now, whenever you are asked to compare numerical values of more than two nominal categories, even percentages, it is best to use a bar or column chart. So in this case, let's create a bar chart. Start by selecting the data and then go to insert chart. In this case, Google Sheets creates a pie chart, but that is not what we want. We want a bar chart instead. So in the panel on the right, change the chart type to bar chart. And just like that, you have a chart comparing the sales performance of each region. Now, if you are still curious as to why I selected a bar chart here instead of a pie chart, I highly encourage you to read the two articles that I have written on the subject, and you can find links to these articles in the description. That said, let's move on to question three. For question three, your task is to create a chart showing the distribution of units sold and you must display the distribution in groups of 10. Now, whenever you need to depict the distribution of data, a histogram is often an excellent choice. So to create a histogram, select the data and then go to insert chart. Now Google Sheets ends up creating this crazy line chart, which is not what we want. So simply change the chart by looking in the panel on the right and change the chart type to histogram. Now that we have a histogram, we need to adjust the distribution to show in groups of 10. So in the panel on the right, select customize and under histogram, change the bucket size to 10. Now for the finishing touch, double click on the chart title and change it to distribution of units sold. Now, if you are curious to learn more about the histogram, check out the link in the description that will take you to an article where I really go in depth on how to read a histogram and when to use one. That said, let's move on to question four. For question four, your task is to create a chart showing the correlation between the two metrics. You are also asked to create a trend line. Now, anytime you want to try and show the correlation between two numerical values, then you want to build what's called a scatter plot. To create a scatter plot, select the data and then go to insert chart. In the panel on the right, under chart type, select scatter chart. Excellent. This gives us the chart we want. Now we just need to add a trend line. You can add a trend line by going to customize and then under series, check the box next to trend line. You can now close the panel on the right and you are officially finished with question number four and your 12th spreadsheet life Google sheets challenge. 